You're gonna be working together, dude. Get over it. Poor Piero. His elixirs have cured so much for so many. But they cannot cure his brain fevers. Uh oh. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes. More than once. Well, haven't we all? Good lad, Piero. This heart thing is going to get you all into big trouble. Each and every night, the black eyed outsider visits. Right, so have we read this book before? I don't know if we have. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technology is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil to be used as fuel. Yes, we have read it before. Okie dokie. So if we go... Oh, we almost fell in there. Somebody close that. Jesus. Who leaves the gate open? Aha! What's this one? A rat scent. Rats attack you. Rats attack you only when you walk closer. So the attack radius is reduced basically. In the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. Give me Okay, at least we're full health again now. We can do the old quick save. Can we not get up there? Oh no, but we can get down here. Okay, that's not creepy at all, is it? Yeah, we did it. I think we've hearted everyone apart from Martin and the captain. Or the admiral. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that we'll go to that really quickly. Admiral Hamlet has seen more horses than an all the rest put it together. By respecting the property and rights of others, he has killed ways and men for profit and pleasure. He has the bloodlust. He tried to seize control of the military after the Empress. After she, the Empress, was murdered. Why did it struggle on the Empress? Is this the Empress heart? Look at him. Admiral Havelock was restless on land. There was a younger brother, and an artist, sensitive, soft, taken at nine by a fever. Havelock loved him truly. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than in all the rest put together. Martin, the swimsuit model, look at that pose. There Boom! brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. But T. Martin is one. Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's cries weigh heavy on his spirit. He has been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. He wonders which is more powerful, the knife or the tongue. Yeah, he, he's constantly having a go at me for slaughtering everyone. He always had his sights set on the Abbey's highest office. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. Okay, so I think that's it. it. All done. So we know the the little maid is constantly thinking about killing herself. She's just a manic depressive. Wallace is a horrible bastard. Just anyone who has consumed such a power hungry must be reported to the watch. Just self centered twat. Horrible person. But we knew that. We kinda got that from him. Ooh, money. Um Oh, did we do it? did we do you? Did we even talk to you yet? I don't think we have. Cecilia, turn Bravo. around. Can I tell you something? Yeah, go for it. I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. 
I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Okay, I mean, thank you. I'll go and yes, take Mr. a look. Never seen sure it before. Are clean, sir. So much dust. It must blow down from the upper city. <laughs> Hunter just says, the apartment reaps. Uh, never mind. They let that Emily run wild. It's not how I do it, if you don't mind my saying. Wait, you're going to keep your kids in a cage? Emily the fuck's wrong with you, Cecilia? Six Restless hands do no good, they say. With oh dear, she's still going to be mad at herself? Hey, excuse me. Okay, time for the heart. Let's see what you're truly thinking. She hides her hands. They are raw and scarred from the washing. But the common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. There is nothing common about the work she does every day. All she wants is to lay herself down in the middle of Frowling Street and await death. The fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She starves so that her children can have bread. The common folk, simple-minded, selfish, but they can be kind. She has only one dress and wears it to tatters. The common woman. She fears the abbey. That's insane. So I don't think it's like it's all specifically for that person. Oh, we'll take the ore. Um someone been hiding in here again? Nope. Do we go back? Do we go back to that place? See if she's there. My bed upstairs. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. Oh. I mean, I guess we should close the door. I'm not seeing anything in here. Is she just going to hide out? I suppose eventually we're going to have to run down here and go through. Through the sewers. She must have the key to the sewers. We'll keep the door locked because we don't want her thinking. I wish we could lock the door again. Put the key back. Okie dokie, time for bed. We did it! We spoke to everybody. Citizens, be aware that looting of evacuation. That said about destroying any enemy in your path. Well, I'm doing that. Not intentionally. Only when they see me. Interrogation time. Here we go. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Okay, well... You can definitely stay here whenever you want, but you should head back to your own room. Calissa will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Oh yeah, you're not a prisoner, girl. I don't want you to... Uh-oh, why? Why was that like a not a happy trumpet moment? You, yeah, you can sit there. If she's having a bath, I'll just go remind her that you're over here. And I don't want her to be concerned that you're lost. Damn it, went the wrong way. Let us all praise their choice. 
The dance of investiture will take place without... We should be able to see old Pyro spying on her. How does he catch her in the bath? Pretty bloody sneaky. Dear uncle, it's been a while since I've heard from you. And with the way things are going, I can't be sure we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe. For now. My job, hearing for a young girl, is better than I expected. Though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kurnow. We just have to go on living, if we can. May we see each other soon. Your niece. Oh, I'm glad she never said she was looking after Emily. Oh, look. There's a new area that we've not really done anything in. Who's that over there? Is that Pendleton? It is. Okie dokie. So now we go through here again? Holy crap, the audio logs update like every single time you load into this new area. Which is pretty cool, but at the same time... A little bit crazy. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Okie dokie. He's not been back yet. Entry 4 is the one that we just read, yep. Good in that, that respect. Oh, what's happening here? You're looking at her in the bath, aren't you? I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Okay, I mean, you, is that... I'd rather you didn't spy on people here, Piero. Are you watching the bat? <sighs> Are we going to stop him from... I mean, he's, he's only looking through a keyhole, but that's one step away from barging in there, throwing a shower curtain over her head and going to town. Stop it, perverto. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize. Just tell her you like her, dude. For your discretion. Yeah, okay. I mean, don't don't ever let me see you doing it again. Wow, Piero, I know why you're doing it. <laughs> Stand up! Stand up, Callista! Oh, I can't get out. No, nope, never mind. Okay, now we're just as bad as he is. She never said anything, no, that's, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride Where? in by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times. And preserving the timeless... Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. Oh my god, don't you go on his side just because you're a uppity arsehole. Piero, don't... It's fine. You require my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. I don't actually. I just wanted to see if you wanted to go spy through your keyhole. That's fine. No worries. I don't judge. She's the best looking one out of the mall, isn't she, really? I mean, Lydia's good looking as well, but... Callista, now she's a whole new whole new level of good looking. Pendleton. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. He likes that. He likes looking down on the peasantry. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent. But it's a shame. 
I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. Yeah, I mean, he seems Bringing okay. In Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regents got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. Okay, we're done. We're done with him. I didn't think we could go over this way. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're coming in now. We've got a full-on jail in here. That's amazing. Okay. Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? Oh, you're it's getting the you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Why? Why can you not help us? Come on, idiot. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. <laughs> Who even says stuff like that, you crazy ape like man? How do you know it's legendary? Let's see if the rats are hungry. Perhaps I can find find a bribe for you. Ooh. I mean, I don't want him to get hurt. I don't think he's a bad man. I think he just believes what he's told. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. I've got to go buy a... I've got no money though, do you want to lend me some money? Drink. Oh, is that what you want? You want a drink? Okay. Not the swill to be found here, but the oh. fine spirits. Well. I'm gonna go find you a fine spirit drink. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna release a bunch of rats in there. How about we just... I was going to play good cop and go in there and have a wee chat. Throw your arm around I had him. A flask in my studio. Had I known I'd be leaving, I would have grabbed it. You need to drink less, sir. We need some money as well, so hopefully this is going to be enough for whatever bribe it is. the hell are we going to keep in here? That's some big old cage. Okie dokie. Oh, what's this? Welping and training hounds. Oh dear. From each letter there's usually somewhere shy of four good pops but we always drown the runt. Not very nice, is it? You can give them to a blind kid. Then that re that them that remain spend three or so months suckling from the mothers before we start them up with the training. 
It's simple at first, returning sticks and sitting on command. Only pissing outside in the lake, but by the 8th month we've got them hunting for scented sack dolls hidden in scrub forest, killing wild pigs on command and taking a man in padded armour down by hanging onto his forearm. At the end of the first year we graduate the ones that we've learned and shoot the ones that haven't. Wow, the overseers take them after that and we never see them again. Except once, walking down Clavering Boulevard, an overseer, an overseer passed me, preaching about the latent litany of the White Cliff and the evils of witchery. And sure enough, his hound started whimpering and wagging its tail. That's how I knew it was one of mine. Welped up from a pup. That's cute. The dog trainer that found his... Oh! We will continue this soon. Is that opening... What is that opening? Is that opening the rat cage? Or is it opening these doors somewhere? Just in case. We're going to go talk with El Man first. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not, well, call me if it gets entertaining. You're a sick bastard. Okay. Piero, King Street Brandy, please. Excuse me. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? How about I stick my blade in your neck if you don't give me it? He's a potential ally. I'll take the brandy. Oh, we've got enough. It's only 150. Sold. Oh, you're so angry? Don't be angry. I'll buy you brandy as well. If that's if that was your choice. Here you go, buddy. King Street brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. Yeah. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. Holy crap! We're going to a party! Whoop whoop! I don't... I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. Uh, I have just a tiny favor yeah. I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Why don't you go to the party and give it to him yourself? What's going on? Deliver a note to Lord Shaw. He's in a wolf mask at the party. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. <laughs> Perhaps the Empire itself. 
You horny old dog. I assume I will remain in this kennel for the duration of your little protest movement. I don't suppose you have anything to read. Wilmot's History of the Lesser Perversions, perhaps? I mean, we'd let you out, but what would you do? Will you run away? I really want to turn this. Because we don't know what it's going to do. So what if I... I'll do a quick save. What is that? What's what's it doing? Oh! That's a bit sneaky, is it not? We could have let him escape. Or does that just get the rats out of there? Maybe that just empties the rats out if we if we let them all in. Maybe. Anyway, we're probably going to leave it there for tonight. Well, for now. I'm going to get it all rendering. Go to Sokolov bed. Wake up. Come back and play the rest. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Exactly. Exactly what he said. Pendleton knows too much. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course, dozens. Oh yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh... Mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. <laughs> Everybody deals with Emily. Just tell her the truth. Say there's no witches, there's no crazy storms. But then again, maybe there is in this... In this version of the universe. Maybe there is. Okay, we're going to go away before we activate more dialogue. Because we don't want that to happen. But that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Use the heart on Soklov. Okay, yeah, before we could... Before we do that... Before we bugger off, we will hurt Sokolov. Yoo-hoo! Believe you're a kind man. Or just a fruitcake. Anton Sokolov. He knew me once. And did much to set me on my path. Oh, okay. I could feel a great age ending. Yes, Sokolov's a foreigner. With the looks and manner of a Titian swineherd. But he is also a great genius. Not all his knowledge was gleaned from academic books. Some is gained from maids in the seabeds. What the aristocracy would pay for a portrait painted by Anton Sokolov. If only they knew how much he detests them. The city owes much to this great mind. Let him drink and find company where he can. Anton Sokolov, he knew me once. That's pretty interesting. That is pretty interesting. Okay. But that is where we're going to leave it. So I can get all this edited and we'll have it coming out. Affair. Jesus! But you know how it is. Top secret missions and all that. Are you done? Should we, should we have a chat with you before we leave? It's rather important. I wouldn't trust anyone but you to deliver the message to Lord Shaw. I know, you've already told me. The note is brief. But Lord Shaw will understand it. Watch yourself among the Lord Regent's noble bootlickers. Okay, I will do. Don't panic. So, yeah, we're out of the way. Nobody's going to chat. It is. We'll do a little save here. We'll save it properly. But I want to get this on the YouTube for you guys. So, that's where we're going to have to leave it for now. I will be streaming again later today, probably in like six or seven hours maybe.